Hello friends and welcome back to the channel for War 8 of Season 50. Today we have a matchup against DSVG. I was actually given the chance to plan this war for my battle group today pretty much on my own. Uh, so very happy to be able uh, to be trusted with that. Viv returning for the second war in a row along with Black Cat for a spot boss. And Carl back on the team too. Haven't seen him in a minute but happy to have him on the team. Alright, first off, we're on path 6 here. We're splitting this path, so we're only taking the spider ham on 6. And this is a really good example of why you should never overlook a fight, even when uh, the health pool is low and you have a really, really good counter. Because this rapidly goes off the rails, uh, and it could be avoided. So right there on my second heavy, I was late because uh, I, I was indecisive or whatever, and I got parried and comboed here. Uh, I still don't have my scythe charge up, right? So I just decide to punish his special one and he evades on the first attack. Still don't have my scythe charge up. He evades again in the middle of the heavy that would have given me my last charge. And now he is absolutely wailing on me in the corner. I can't use my special three here uh, because of the power sting. So finally I'm able to get a heavy off that he doesn't evade. I get my scythe charge up and now we kind of work our way out of the corner. Uh, I'm not really interested in using my special 3 at this point. I want the bleeds to finish him off. I don't want to push him to that special 2. Uh, yeah, so again, really important to prep for every fight like it's a boss fight is my takeaway uh, from that one. Alright, up in section 2 we are again on path 4 and we have another dust in the same spot that we saw in the previous war. This is only a rank 2 dust and you can see I, uh, I put on a 12% uh, special boost uh, kind of taking my own advice from the last war here. One thing that uh, I've been noticing, I've been practicing Viv a lot, uh, especially in Arena, and I've noticed that when the defenders light attack into your phase, they now have the re the reaction time to either dex or block your counter attack. So you can see me like at the start of the fight, I backed off, uh, and that is to force a medium attack into my phase. That makes it a lot safer. So right here, she has activated a sandstorm because she, you know she missed a medium and immediately started charging a heavy. Uh, so we kind of took some damage there, but all in all, you know, this goes a little bit better than the previous fight that I took against Dust with Viv, still taking damage, and uh, frankly, any fight with Viv where I'm taking damage is a bad Viv fight, and that's just, that's just because I'm a, a total perfectionist here. So we managed to get all five energy bones up, toss our first special one, does a nice chunk of damage, and now we're just going to spam special ones and uh, a third one finishes her off. So, you know, an improvement over the previous war, uh, but still not quite there yet uh, on this fight. All right, moving on, we have a Null on 31, another popular placement, a rank 5 Ascended Null. Uh, interesting choice over a 7-star Null. Uh, but either way, he is max sig, so he's going to start the fight unblockable and be unblockable for the entire fight here. So we have to start off with a blind intercept. And you kind of have to go into this fight assuming that you are going to take several hits because it is very difficult to push him to his special 2 without the ability uh, to block bait heavies. And his special 1 uh, is very difficult to deck, so the important thing to remember here is that you really want to try and aim your special 1 uh, to fire before uh, corruption hits because you don't want the those, uh, those reverse controls hitting you at the wrong time here. Other than that, you know, try to push him to the special two when you can, and you're going to see me heavy counter the special two into the special one here to get the big vulnerability. Uh, the regen triggers, but we're heal blocked, so uh, I did take like some power sting damage there. That's fine. The physical resistance that we get from Carl in Uru form is really going a long way towards protecting us from a lot of the hit damage uh, that Null would otherwise do. Striker into the heavy cancel into the special one doesn't kill him. Uh, I decide to play it extra safe rather than going for a risky block hit. Bait out this special two and one more hit does him in. Last but certainly not least, we have another spot boss here, rank three spot. Black Cat so OP for this fight. By the way, this was the last fight on the map for us, and uh, we had been deathless in our BG to this point. So uh, if I get this fight solo, then it's then it's a donut for us. So we had the benefit of some Odin pre-fight buffs there just to ramp up our scythe charges a little bit faster. Heavy countering his heavy, and now we have two scythe charges ready. We can go in, combo him into the special two, which applies the sabotage debuff, and you can see he is absolutely melting here. Uh, he's generating spots from his special attacks, uh, but every time we hit into him, 
uh, we, we are not going to be granting him any spots because that now we have 100% defensive ability accuracy reduction. And even if he would gain some spots, we are going to be removing them when we punish his specials here. So 17, 18 bleeds, and uh, absolute destruction from Black Cat. And you can see there, uh, Na AK Mudkip celebrating uh, the donut here. So pretty proud of, uh, of this war. We did end up uh, with the win. Shout out to DSVG. Four kills from zero deaths, and our record remains intact at 8-0. Uh, this war was extra special for me again because uh, I was given the chance to plan. Uh, this was the first time I planned uh, an in-season war uh, that, that actually mattered. I think the previous time I planned by myself, it was like after we had kind of stopped pushing. So it didn't, I mean, it counted, but not really counted, right? And uh, yeah, so really, really happy to be given the chance for that. And for, for the guys to uh, come away with a donut uh, means a lot to me. So uh, really, really proud of, uh, of them and, uh, and myself too, for that matter. So yeah, 8-0, really, really good, obviously. Puts us in a bit of an interesting position, though, uh, because we are an alliance who pushes for top 10 in Alliance War. We don't really push for podium. Uh, that's kind of like another level, right? And uh, if, if previous seasons are any indicator, 8 wins uh, pretty much locks us into top 10. And we've been very consistent this season, so I really don't think it's likely that uh, the bottom drops out on us and we ha have like an epic collapse. So eight wins, I feel pretty comfortable saying that we're, we're probably going to finish top 10. So the question then becomes, you know, where do we go from here? We have uh, some very difficult matchups likely remaining. We still haven't fought LVT or GT or SGA. Uh, so those will probably be three of our last four. And we are currently sitting uh, in the in the number two spot. So uh, curious to see where we, where we end up finishing. Uh, you know, it, it, I would love to have that instant dupe on the seven-star Scarlet Witch if we manage to finish on the podium. Uh, but if we don't do that and uh, I only get her once, I, you know, I'm not going to stress out about it. So, uh, yeah, definitely looking forward to see kind of where we go from here as we round off uh, the end of the season. If you enjoyed this, remember to please hit that like button, of course. And as always, thank you very much for watching. See you again next time.